from musicians to activists to members of the clergy, Melissa, people came together today to create an action plan on what they can do going forward after a weekend of vigils and protests. Just like this chant from protesters. here in this basement at Shalom Mennonite Church say they can't find peace in a country that is torn in the wake of violence. You know, we have a lot of thousands of community organizations and churches that are so divided, but if we come together, we're going to have a more of a voice. And they That's what drew Kyla Franklin to this small discussion a chance for her voice to be heard. I am proud of my, my race. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I am becoming. A person whose eyes are open to the issues that threaten minorities in Indianapolis. Some of the issues the group highlighted were police accountability, urban violence, and re-entry policies for ex-convicts. Um, hopefully, um, from this meeting, uh, Caesar Planet ideas uh, get out there. Some some real change can be made. It's a call the group plans to extend to family, friends, and neighbors. We're not going to wait till another uh, something else happens. We're going to start now. Planning more small community meetings in hopes that some of the ideas that are shared here will make a real difference. What can I do? Where can I be? Um, what change can I make? Um, you know, you got to start with yourself. Say, look out and watch out for us because we're going to be a powerful people. And two of the solutions they discussed that you can actually do right now is being kind to others, including strangers, or becoming a mentor to the youth. If you're looking for ways to get involved in the community, I've set up a link on my Liz Adiola Facebook page. Reporting live downtown, Liz Adiola, RTV6.